This apparently doesn't look very good, so here I'll try to show you what you could do when you can see something like this on your Mac, like green lines going through the screen. I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. First of all, this is in 2011 iMac, 27 inch. It's been pretty upgraded. I mean, it's not like the best specs, but considering that this thing is like 10 years old, it has 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and it has a pretty decent graphic, at least it used to have, apparently. So when you see something like this on your LCD screen, and then the first thing that comes to your mind is probably that your screen is broken or something. I mean, it could be the case, even though the green thin line doesn't really happen anymore, the thing that we used to have back in the day, but but you can see that right now it just disappears after a couple of seconds so you can see that it just goes back to normal and that means that the problem is not in my LCD screen and panel. When a situation like this occurs, you would just hope that it is a software failure or error. So you would try to reboot it or try to use some sort of disk utility or perhaps reinstall the Mac OS. In order to do this, you will need to get to the uh, recovery mode. So you just turn off the computer, then turn it back on and immediately hold down to command R just like that. And it should get you there. But in my case, it's not even doing anything for some reason. If you have any other bootable drives that you can use in order to test out what's going on with your computer, of course, just hold down to the Option or Alt key while the Mac is booting up. And then if you have Windows, for example, or something else that you could pick from, then of course, try out some different things and let's see what happens. But in my case, as you can see, the Macintosh is just the only thing that I can pick from and there isn't much to really do here. So this is kind of sad, actually. So what it seems like is that my graphics card simply died or something happened to it. It just does not work anymore. Based on some quick YouTube search, I came across a video telling me that I need to take it out and bake it in the oven for like 10 minutes, which seems like a completely irrational idea and the last thing I would actually do with any internals of my PC. But you can try it out, of course. I mean, if this works for you and if it also stays like that, it means that it's going to work for like the next couple of years, then it's fine. But I just don't believe this kind of solutions. I think that it just cannot work like this. If you also have an iMac, keep in mind that you will need some sort of additional tools to simply get to the internals. Since it's not that simple, you need to actually cut the adhesive and you also have another like the new adhesive sticks that you can actually use uh, then to stick the display back so it's not that simple just simply prepare for it before you begin with this and also look look up some websites like i fix it i believe that there you should find like step-by-step -step guide for everything and yeah just just make sure that you go according to the plan and you actually end up with a working computer based on what i've heard about this kind of problem you should also try con connecting like a third party external monitor to your iMac simply because it could mean that some sort of connection could be just wrong and faulty inside your Mac and the actual graphics card doesn't have to be dead or broken. In some rare occasions, it could be the case that the green stripes or lines do not disappear and just stay the entire time on the screen. So it actually boots up and you can do whatever you want. You just have to look at the nasty green or pink lines going through your screen. But this is not the thing in my case because I'm not even able to boot up my computer. So. If you end up in a situation like this, what you can do is to, based on your skills, is to the first option would be to open it up and replace your graphics card on your own, depending on your skills, like I said, and that depending on the version of your iMac. Like if you have one of the newer models where everything is integrated, you're gonna have like a really hard time replacing that. And there are some even services that don't even do this kind of stuff. So based on your level of expertise, Decide if you want to go into it on your own or just search out the authorized service and just let them do it. I know that this is like a little basic info, but 
for people that know everything about computers and watch like every single YouTube video about internals and graphics cards and all of that, I mean, they don't even need to watch this. But for people that just use a computer normally or some video editing like me, then you just want to need a computer that works. And yeah, you just need to get it working again and don't care about the all additional stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. If this video helped you in any way, I would be really grateful and happy if you left your thumbs up on the video. Just simply turn the gray like button to blue. That's all I want from you. And also subscribe if you don't want to miss like other not mostly Mac related videos, but everything Apple like iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch and all of that. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the next videos like these. Thanks a lot for watching.